Hello there, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for being with me today. I hope you're well and looking forward to another episode of Tiny Zoo. Um, so it's been a little while and I apologise for that. Uh, I haven't been uh, that free recently. I've just moved house. So things have been a bit hectic for the last few months, uh, a bit in particular in the last sort of four or five weeks. Uh, where we actually moved house and got settled in and all that so yeah it took me a little while to get the internet sorted out and get my computer set up again and you know if, if any of you have moved house you know what it's like there's always a lot to do still lots going on um, so yeah lots um, lots that was kept me away from my computer unfortunately and it's likely to be a similar story for a little while yet um, and uh, I've also got a baby on the way which is very exciting uh, but it also means that I'm going to have less time for my YouTube channel unfortunately but that's life you know I'm still going to keep going I'm going to be putting out videos whenever I can but uh, again as any of you who have had children yourselves will understand that you don't get a lot of free time so who knows we'll have to see what the future holds but for now I am here, I have done some work in Tiny Zoo um, and I've also managed to do a bit over in my other series, my uh, Volcano Bay Zoo, which is uh, a new series that I've been working on. So there will be some more episodes of that coming soon as well. But uh, let's crack on with this one. So this is our last episode, built this lovely little zoo uh, sort of area over here to meet the horses. These are our uh, and I apologise for the pronunciation, uh, Prewolski's horse. Uh, yeah, hard to pronounce, but lovely to look at. I had a lot of fun with this one, making it kind of like a, a little petting zoo. So you've got this little area here where the horses can come over and meet people. And you had the little vegetable patch here, growing all the food to feed them. So that was all good fun with a little cafe attached there. Uh, today, let me show you what we are going to be putting in today. It's these lovely little fellas, uh, Scimitar Horned Oryx. Uh, so this is another one of the new animals, uh, and the, the only other animal I haven't done from this new conservation pack uh, yet is the, the Siamang. I assume that's how you pronounce that, Siamang. I might be wrong. Um, but yeah, so these are the, the next two animals to go in. I've already built both of the habitats, I'm just in the process of recording the episodes now. So I can tell you that they're both in uh, and then who knows what I'll be moving on to after that. But yeah today it's going to be these chaps. I mean look at look at that horn. You can see why they're called scimitar horned oryx can't you? I mean that looks lethal. Although if you want to stab someone with it you've got to be running backwards so that's a bit awkward. But yeah they're very cool looking things. So they are going to be going in over here. Let me meander around the outside of the zoo until we work out where they go and here they are so I've already started basic layout and shape here uh, so this is next to our penguins over here we've got our little what's it arctic foxes I think we're in this one um, I can't actually show you because I've had to remove all the animals from the zoo uh, because my computer was starting to lag so actually there's no animals in the zoo at the moment apart from the horses I think uh, everything else is empty um, I can't remember what was in this one to be honest, although if I click on it, it should tell me, shouldn't it? Oh, the Nile Lecce were in there, but they're not anymore, they've gone. So anyway, so this is where our Oryx are going to go. Now, it's quite a small area, this one, and I, I, you know, that's sort of the theme of what I'm doing in this zoo, trying to keep the habitat small, um, but I came up with an idea to sort of make it a, a bit more interesting than just a flat area, so obviously you'll see that in a minute. But yeah, so this is the basics. Um, I think they were, let's have a look, where, what continent were they from, were they Africa, uh, let's have a look, where are we going, yes, so right there, look at that, very endangered, right in the middle here of Africa, so I thought desert uh, made sense for them, let's have a look. It's an, uh, antelope that used to live in and around the Sahara Desert, I don't think it does anymore though, um, does it tell how rare they are, I mean it's a very small area wasn't it, uh, present only reintroduced population exists in managed nature reserves and national parks in North Africa. It's very sad, isn't it? Um, successful captive breeding programs, conservation efforts, one in difficulties when reintroducing the animals to its natural range. Yeah, it's um, yeah, it's suffering unfortunately. It's extinct in the wild, basically. Well, no, I don't know. There are hopes that it won't be extinct in the wild soon because it's being reintroduced. So yeah. So anyway, that's why I went with a sandy 
uh, texture and you've got a, a pathway coming around here uh, which will link into this one obviously this is a fake path we have over here so this will be connected with another fake bit of path uh, but the real path is in there at least uh, so yeah so uh, you'll see what I came up with to make this an interesting enclosure uh, in a minute so let me move on <coughs> excuse me let's uh, let's move on to the next section I'll show you what I did next right and here we have our oryx uh, I think I had a little family of five in here yeah so I think we've probably got a few females and a male let's have a look one two three females one male four females wow he's a lucky guy isn't he so here we go um this is what i came up with to make the enclosure a little bit more interesting so you have multiple levels basically and a bit of a cave um so it comes in right underneath the pathway here and this is their little sleeping area and you've got a bit of a, a water area here with a gentle slope so you, they still have a bit of a flat area up here where people can uh, see them from this pathway um and then along the top here uh, I use these nice faux rocks to create this flat ledge along here and I, I do actually make it I think I build it a little bit more along here so the um, the animals can actually walk all the way along this because uh, obviously I do put a fence along here but I've made it so that the animals can come all the way along here and I think eventually I actually put a feeder or something right down at this end to encourage them to come along um, so the idea is that they do get sort of right up close and personal with the visitors on the path um, but yeah I thought that it was just something a bit different a bit interesting um, also had the idea of putting in a little waterfall over here which I do um, yeah and it just it just breaks up the you know the flatness doesn't it if you do something like this uh, makes it interesting for the people makes it interesting for the animals gives them you know a bit of climbing to do um, yeah so there we go so pretty pretty straightforward bit of landscaping but it, it definitely just adds something I thought um, to, the, to the habitat so there we go that's that um, pretty straightforward pretty simple uh, lots of detailing to do uh, it was quite a quick enclosure this one so it is only going to be a short video today because um, there's not that much to go through really but I quite like the results it's something a little bit different um, so let's crack on let me load up the next save point okay so here we have our basic uh, structure all in place now one thing I did change uh, was the gate so I put in one of these smaller uh, gates because they're just great I can't believe it took them sort of, what six or seven expansion packs to finally put in a, a half height gate but there we go it's here now because uh, obviously it matches beautifully with the in-game fencing so yeah all looks really nice and uh, yeah I've used the in-game fencing here I don't always do custom stuff um, often I do but sometimes it's nice to use the in-game stuff when it looks suitable uh, and I thought this one did so the fencing obviously just goes all the way around matches up to there um, around here like I said I, I added a couple more um, rocks in here so if we go down to the traversable area you can see that they can in fact walk all the way along there and they can go up and down the slope then go in the water then go in the cave it says they can escape there obviously they can't it's just that the the barrier is above the land and they can just about sort of go underneath it but that's fine uh, over here i did put in a little waterfall i think that looks really nice just using all these fake rocks again so the idea was not that this was a natural formation so that's why I've used the faux rocks so the idea is that this has been dug out and built on purpose for these animals um, hence the faux rocks and I think that looks pretty cool um, put one of these little grates that I like to do here a little touch of realism just makes it look like the water is actually coming out of something uh, left all the trees like they are because I, I like that they, the roots kind of come right down and hang over the edge like this I think that looks pretty good um, obviously there's a lot more detailing still to do um, and then over here I just extended this fake uh, walkway here so just deleted a bit of rope from here and then built an extension here and some steps coming down to meet this pathway so obviously it's not usable but it looks good uh, well I think it does anyway I was pretty happy with it um, so there we go so that's our basic structures all in place now 
So vegetation still to do and enrichment items. Uh, obviously no need for any shelter I don't think in this one because they've got their cave down here. So I don't think I did anything up here. It has been a little while since I did this. Um, so yes, yeah, so I, I explained that I've just moved house. I did actually build this before I moved house. I'm only doing the commentaries for it now. Uh, and the same with the next episode. So I'm I'm kind of renewing myself with these uh, these enclosures because it has been a couple of months since I actually built these. Um, so I can't entirely remember my process and my you know my thinking behind the door. To be honest, I'm sort of discovering it with you. Um, so yeah, so there we go. So that's um, that's that. So let's load up. I think there is only one more save point for this uh, episode. So that will be our finished uh, habitat. So um, let's have a look at that, shall we? And here we have, <coughs> excuse me, our finished uh, habitat. So lots of extra bits and pieces have gone in here. So we have uh, the main thing, obviously. It has to be, doesn't it? An umbrella tree, my favourite. Had to have one of them in there. I couldn't have an enclosure without one, really, could I? Um, and I put some of these lovely new pieces down. These are these. Uh, what have we got? Drin grass. We've got. Um, no, actually, what else is there? Poppies, yes, we've got little poppies here. Um, is this the same again? Yeah, drin grass again. Poppies. I thought I'd use some other different ones in here, but maybe not. No. No, it's all good. So, yeah, so lots of different vegetation. Um, put some nice dead trees in. I just thought it looked appropriate to have some dead stuff in here. I don't know why. Um, I, I guess my thinking was because this was an artificial area you wouldn't get trees naturally growing down here um, so they would have put in fake ones instead I think um, as you can see the animals do come all the way along here uh, we've got the guy over here putting some food so we've got our little food station at the end and hopefully they're going to demonstrate now that they do actually come over and eat is this guy gonna Let's have a look at this lady no it is the guy it's Yazid here he comes Coming in for his dinner, yum yum. Lots of yummy leaves. So that's really cool. So it means that you 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 get to uh, get nice and uh, and close to the animals over in this corner here, which is pretty cool. Uh, they've also got a, a melon feeder in here. A bit more shrubbery here and there, not too much. Um, you've got a a barrel feeder. You've got a little thing that they pick up and walk around with. You've got a scratching post. You've got another feeding ball over here. Um, this is a pretty cool one. This is one of the newer ones, the scarecrow feeder, uh, which I kind of like. It's something a bit different, isn't it? And then I think uh, yes, they've got one of these little scent marker enrichment things down in their cave as well. Um, Put some vines in. I like vines on caves. I always think they look good. Decorated the water a little bit. Just some some reeds in here. A few palms. Some more reeds here. Nice uh, sort of dead tree stump here. A few more vines hanging around. Um, this is one of my favourite things that I always like to do. A little just a fallen branch just hanging uh, between two bits like that. Um, and then some of this stuff um, sort of sticking out the side of cliffs. So I always think these things look good just randomly sticking out the side of rock faces like that. Um, don't know why. I don't know if it's is it realistic. Yeah, to a degree, it's realistic. You do you do get some some things that can kind of uh, stick out like that. You know, they've got strong branches and they they can they can do that. I don't think this plant is one of them, but I think it looks good. Um, so yeah, hey, it's a game. If it looks good, you go for it. Um, and then on the outside, again, very simple. Some of the new benches. So these are the um, conservation benches and I think the bins. Yeah, the conservation bins as well. Uh, really nice. I love the design of these. They do look really good. Very simple, but, um, you know, that's fine. It's just a little bit different to what we already had. Uh, you've got some media screens up as well. You've got one there. I think I did put one over here. Yes, yeah, so I'll put one on this little triangle here as you walk into the, uh, the habitat from this angle here. Uh, and that is it. That is. Oh no, look, got one on that corner there as well. So every angle that you approach it from, you can have a bit of a read about the animals first. Um, so there we go. That is our 
scimitar horned oryx habitat all finished very simple i am um, it was like i say it was a pretty quick build came together very nicely um, but i like it it's different it's um you know it's, it's hard for anyone who's played this game and and you know built up a substantial size zoo like this one is now you you kind of know that how hard it is to be original you know you're always trying to come up with new ideas and it's not that easy you can easily end up doing the same thing over and over again just with a different animal so actually trying to be creative and come up with new design ideas is not that easy i'll be honest um which is why actually i started my other project my volcano bay zoo because that is a sort of a mega project like imagine someone's given you 10 billion pounds and told you to go and build your dream zoo so that's kind of what that series is about it's all big over the top buildings and um you know everything is just on a grand scale whereas this one is much more small scale and um more well it's realistic let's be honest volcano bay zoo is not going to be a realistic zoo at all whereas this one could exist this is looking actually, i think it looks fantastic now <laughs> it really started to look like a proper zoo isn't it um it, you know it's substantial it's a good size lots going on in there um i think as an aerial view i think that is looking pretty snazzy i'll be honest so yeah i'm, I'm very happy with how this one's coming together i just wish my computer ran better so i could keep the animals in there because i have had to remove everything i think by this point let's have a look yeah i don't think there's animals in any of these enclosures anymore oh no there is look we have tortoises and penguins in here maybe at this point i was still leaving the animals in or maybe not there's nothing in this one yet is there no maybe i think i think some of them i'd taken out at this point and some of them i'd left in uh, oh actually there shouldn't be penguins in here <laughs> Why are there so many animals in this in this habitat? <laughs> we've got aardvarks with tape here. We've got seals. Uh, sorry, otters. We've got the uh, giant tortoises. And we've got penguins. Why did I do that, I wonder? I can't remember. I know there was a reason. I do remember doing it, actually. But I just don't remember why. Look, we've got the small tortoises here as well. Uh, we've got red panda there. Look at that. Wow. This is crazy. Oh, do you know what it was? That was it i oh look yes they're all cubs they're all babies look we got a little uh, a little baby jaguar that was what happened yes so basically i was trying to empty the zoo and i, I you can't get rid of young animals so when the uh, when the babies are born you can't get rid of them from the zoo <laughs> there's no way of doing it. you have to wait for them to grow up so what i did i got rid of all the animals from the whole zoo and uh, and i moved all the youngsters into this one habitat so it's just a right mix of everything in here living together until they grew up and then once they were grown up i could then get rid of them so yeah so that's that's why there's such a random mix of animals all living together very happily in this habitat here um yeah it's quite funny really isn't it it's a bit of an odd thing to see but you know it works I mean, let's be honest, this little dude here would just leap straight out of this uh, this habitat now. But there we go. It's all good fun, isn't it? Yeah, so that that was uh, that was why that happened. So, yeah. Anyway, sorry, back to where we were <laughs> with our, uh, our Oryx. So that is the end of the Oryx. I did put in uh, a keeper hut here, which obviously at some point will be decorated properly or moved uh, appropriately. Uh, but that is it. For this episode next episode is the is it siamang i want to say siamang it might be pronounced siamang or something like that i'm really not sure um but yes it's this little guy here um yeah interesting animal this one and the the fun of, of this animal was that you've got the new climbing pieces to use for these guys um, where they they hang up so, uh, you know underneath um, so you can put in poles and things and they actually hang underneath them which looks very cool I can't actually remember where I built it I think it's in this area just here uh, yes it is I remember because it had the raised walkway on this side so yeah so this area just here will be our next episode the CMA um, and yeah i have now actually started the next episode after that because the siamang is the last of the new animals so i'm now going back to the start and um, putting in all the other animals that i haven't put in yet and i'm gonna just keep going basically through the alphabet and just keep on adding in every animal and hopefully eventually we'll run out of animals um or hopefully not because they'll release more hopefully but we'll see 
so there we go so that is going to be our next episode and that is it for this one so thank you very much for joining me i hope you've enjoyed the episode i hope you like my little oryx habitat if you have you could leave me a comment if you've enjoyed the video and you like my channel uh, please do hit the like button that really helps me out i am trying to grow the channel uh, and obviously if i can grow the channel um the the, the more the channel is uh, attracting people the more time i can then spend on it um you know putting it quite bluntly if i get to the stage where it's bringing in a little bit of pocket money i am going to be able to dedicate a bit more of my spare time to it but obviously if it's just a hobby then you know with a baby on the way it's unlikely that i'm going to have the spare time to do a lot here so you know it's one of those things we'll have to see what the future holds um it would be nice uh if i can continue i really enjoy this channel um particularly planet zoo but i love playing all my other games as well i love the interaction that i have with you guys um so yeah it would be nice to keep it going uh, and obviously you can help me by watching my videos and clicking the like button so you know if you want to do that i would greatly appreciate it if you don't then don't it's not a problem at all i'm just glad that you're here so there we go so i will see you again soon hopefully until then do take care bye for now